Hey, hi. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to work with a seek bar. Uh, seek bar, as you can see here, is a bar used to position or seek a certain value. You would have seen this in your music players or you could even use it to set your volume or brightness. I'll show you how to get this on your Android phone. So first, I'll just clear this. This is my previous project. I'll start with the UI. Uh, I prefer linear layout here. And as usual, gravity to center. And I'll have a vertical orientation. Okay, first I'll create my seek bar itself. Width will be match parent, wrap content. I'll give it an ID. So here's my seek bar. We'll go to the code now. So for the code, you can start your code right here after setting your layout, but I'll call a function to make it less cluttered. I'll say seek function. And I'll define it here. Seek function. First, we need to find our seek bar. So it will be seek bar, seek bar is equal to seek bar again r dot id dot seek bar so i have a seek bar here now i need to set a listener a listener will detect any changes or any movements and then call that whatever is defined inside it so i'll define my listener for listener we need to take our object seek bar dot uh, the first one you see here set on seek bar change listener click that so inside this, we need to create a new func new seek bar function, new uh, seek bar on seek bar change. So this will detect any change in the seek bar's position. Just click it, it will define all the methods. So we have three methods here. The first one is on progress change. So there is a change in your value. Say you moved it from some value to some value. It will return the progress here as an integer. On start tracking touches, when you start moving your seek bar, that is when the user clicks the seek bar and on stop tracking touches once you are done. So usually the order of execution is first start tracking touch, then you stop tracking touch and then you fix your progress. So we could even track our touch and stop when we stop touching. So for that, I'll create two more views. I'll create a text view, uh, wrap content, wrap content. This is to detect our, uh, this is to display our progress. So I'll call it progress. And I have some temporary text here. And size should be a little bigger. Now I'll have another text view. This is to show your uh, status. Is it moving or have you stopped? Okay, so we have a UI ready. Now we'll go to our first method, which is start tracking touch. So once you start tracking touch, uh, I'll display that we have started tracking touch on my uh, status text view. So I'll create an object for my text view. Text view uh, status is equal to find view by id r dot id dot status. progress I'm not using the word progress because we'll have progress here so I'll just create that now itself yeah so firstly we created a status so we'll finish that so once you start tracking touch 
uh, I'll start. I'll show the status that we have started tracking. So, uh, my status dot set text. And say once we are done tracking, I'll do the same. Status dot set text. Uh, Another thing I forgot to tell you is that if you are having any objects being used here, they need to be declared final or they could be used as global variables. So right now we are inside the function, so we should have final. This automatically did it for me, but it's better you do it yourself. So I will declare this as final. You could, however, take these two and take them out as global variables and you do, then you don't need to declare a final. Uh, so now I need to display how much my progress has changed. So I'll just take my progress part, prog, progress text view, set text, progress, plus, progress is what I get as returned value. Uh, I think that's it. Now I'll run the code. So here's my seek bar. These are my two text views which will show progress and status. I'll move it. So when I'm moving, it started tracking and you can see the progress increasing, decreasing. Say if I leave it, if I stop, done tracking. So there are a lot of applications for this progress bar. You could use it for a music player, a video player, maybe increasing, decreasing brightness or volume. Do give it a try. And thanks for watching.